Hello guys, welcome to Edglo. So today we are going to start with the very first lesson in this Python series in which we will deal with the basic terms used in Python. So I assume you to be an absolute beginner and I will take each and every concept and explain it in a really really simple manner. So let's start with it. So for the basic terms there are only three that we are going to use in Python. The first one is the data type, the second one is the keyword and the last one is the variable. We will discuss each one of them in detail. So the first one is the data types. But before getting into the data types, we must know what data is. Data is information. That's it. Information could be anything like numbers or alphabets. Let's take the numbers for instance. These numbers are used everywhere around us. They are used to count the number of trees in your garden or calling someone over the phone or even the price tags. So you see that we are surrounded by numbers or numeric data and code is basically manipulation of the data. After the numbers we have alphabets which is also data. These alphabets come together to form words and when words come together we have sentences. So we interact with the computer through these numbers and alphabets which we will now call data. Having understood what data is, let's understand what are the types of data or data types which was also our first basic term. There are 5 data types in all, integers, float, character, string and boolean. Now I'll discuss each data type in detail. So the first one is integer. An integer is any real number without a decimal point. For example, minus 2, 5, 333 and minus 81. After the integer which is without a decimal point, we have float which is with the decimal point. Example 2.45 minus 13.62 and 18.33496. The third data type is a character. A character is anything single like a single alphabet A, B, C or a single digit 1, 2 or 3. A character can be written inside a single quote, double quote or a triple quote but it is generally written inside a single quote. After the character we have string which is simply a collection of characters. Just as a character is written inside a single quote generally, a string is generally written inside double quotes. The last data type is a boolean. A boolean can be either true or false. So after the data types we will now see the keywords. The definition of keywords is really straightforward. Keywords are words that hold special meaning to the computer. That's it. This means that the programs that you're going to write is going to mostly comprise of these words. So this is the list of keywords used in Python. But you need not use all of these. Only 5 to 6 of these keywords will be used in your programming and the rest are rarely used. I'll give you a list of 8 keywords that will be used in programming almost all of the time. So these are the 8 keywords that you need to remember but I'll not explain them right now. I'll explain them when we start to code. We'll start coding at the end of the second video and I'll explain it there. So till now we have completed the two important concepts of programming that is the data types and the keywords. And now we'll discuss one last important concept and that is of the variables. So what is a variable? A variable is just a name given to an information or data. Here now we will see how we name an information and how computer actually understands it. Assume a person's salary is rupees 15,000. So here the information or data is 15,000 and the name that we have associated with it is salary. So a variable is just a name given to an information and names can be many. Someone could call it income instead of salary and everything is fine with it. And this is how we name an information. We write the variable name, put the equal to sign and then write the information. And now we will see how the computer actually understands it. The computer actually understands it like a box which has a name salary or income and holds an information or data as 15,000 rupees. So this naming of variables like salary and income is based on certain conditions. Let's see those rules and I want you to remember each and every rule 
as this will help you to code big programs and software without error. So the first rule is that a variable name could include a lower case or small letter and even uppercase or big letters. Example S A capital L capital A R Y equal to 15,000. The second rule is that a variable name cannot start with a number, but numbers can be there in between or at end. That is 5 salary equal to 15,000 is wrong, but S A A 5 L A R Y equal to 15,000 is fine. The third rule is that keywords cannot be used as variables. As I have explained earlier that keywords hold special meaning to the computer and using keywords as variable will confuse the computer. So the list that I provided you is important to remember. The fourth rule is that we cannot use special symbols like dollar sign and person sign etc in variables. So salary dollar sign equal to 15,000 is wrong and rate at the rate equal to 20 is also wrong. The fifth rule is that a variable can be of any length. So that's all for the variables. I know how it feels to be a beginner at coding but let me tell you this that it is the easiest of all. We'll start to code after the second video and after that we'll go on to solve big problems as we continue with the videos. So that's it for today. Thank you.